So what'd you think of the game? Okay, now we can talk about it. Uh -huh. Um, hold on, let me. What the hell is this? Is this Chicago? It sounds like it. Oh, it totally is. I've never heard it before. I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, speak. Alright, so what do you think of the game? I asked you that. It's your turn to uh, talk. Um, Make a decision, Aiden. I think it was pretty good. Um, Insightful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics were okay. I think um, the the whole like I think it would have been better if it, I was watching it on the HD. And I think it was a little too dark in certain obviously spots where I got killed several times, several thousand times. <laughs> um. I don't know. Well, I'm always stuck in storylines. Um, this one was was pretty good. It was based in Chicago, so I really wanted to see what it was all about. Um, I wish it wasn't so different from actual city like that is now, but I understand why they did that. These guys have the cops on us. Hopefully, after the credits, I'll be able to go back in there and do some of the more side stuff. You can. Because um, I think that would be fun. What are your thoughts on the ending? Story. Um, with like, I don't know, I guess it's because I like a lot of- Oh, there's Cleo. You want to say something for the review? You also have a review? Come here. Come here. Wanna speak into the microphone? I'm gonna squeeze you. No? There we go. Um. Story ending? Usually there's like a big twist, like a huge twist at the end, and there really wasn't. I mean. We knew that we had to get, you know, Damien. You Besides just... Clara being involved and Jordy. Well, see, that was like. Back on you. Little by little, you know. Though, I guess maybe, if anything, it would be the. Uh, that guy. What's his name again? Jordy. Jordy. Yeah. I guess that would be the, the bigger twist, but. Um. Yeah. Now your turn. What do you think of this compared to other games of this nature, like GTA V? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, Action! Well... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello, Mom and Dad! Um... GTA. Well, I'm kind of biased because I played GTA, you know, we both played it so much that we could pretty much play it in our sleep. But, and this one doesn't have much of a, we haven't done like the online part and any of that stuff, so. Um, there is online, you just haven't done it. I, no, I didn't do it. But like, you know, how like we usually play. Uh huh. You can do that. I don't know how, how it works with missions. I don't know if you could do missions together. There's interactive, like you could go in the other person's game and play right. around with them. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, it was. It was. It's. I can't. Like, I feel like GTA is its own animal, but it's really similar. At like, the gameplay is a little similar. Like you have a bunch of guns. I do like though GTA's um, weapon wheel. It's a little bit more, it's easier to get what you want and the weapons that you need. So you don't have to tab over to it, it's all right there. No, you can change guns. But 
here it's like they put it together like snipers so a snipe gun and also a grenade launcher like and they put that all in it like they're those things are two different things well, they only have four choices the top bottom left and right you know yeah i don't think i would have needed four different tabs of like lures blackouts and bombs like i, I would have done fine with just the two if you use them more often you might you know maybe but need them uh, I would rather I like guns better, I guess. Um, so that's I guess one thing that it was kind of difficult, at least for me. Um, and also, obviously, like shooting them, that was terrible. But because it just, didn't auto aim for you. <laughs> it didn't auto aim. That that would be I actually a, have to point the gun. <laughs> what? what is GTA? This? Uh, maybe I have to like lessen the sensitivity of that, but. Um, I have to point the gun and I don't get superpowers like Saints Row. Oh, yeah, and then playing that game before this. Super running and climbing the walls. I can't fly. <laughs> I can't fly and glide through the air. Boy, boy. They don't really have access to helicopters or flying vehicles in this game. It's a whole nother oh, yeah. thing they could add, but that would. It's just a different. I don't think it would work so well in this game. Everything's basically driving based. Which I can understand. Based. I'm not saying they should. Right. They have police helicopters, but you can't go in the air. Yeah. Right. Now there's no base. Um. Yeah, I guess that would be it. Do you have anything to say? Since well, I didn't play the game, so I can't but comment. But you watched it a bajillion times. Can Molly finish? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, uh, so I can't comment on the gameplay. But from what I've seen, the buttons are pretty similar to GTA, so you can, uh, it's not that much of a jump in uh, controls, at least. I, I wasn't thrilled about the ending, especially since, uh, my lovely wife said that, oh, I heard the clear got shot. I was like, thanks. I didn't even see the uh, that part of the game yet. But uh, thanks for telling me that she's going to get shot. Next time I watch the video. So that was fun. But yeah, it was some good twists in there, but some were kind of expected. I was disappointed that Jordy was involved because he was funny. But it's not that much of a stretch. Since he told you he got a contract for you. Right. But didn't really say he's going to do it. Yeah, but if you know how he is in the storyline, he's all about the job. Uh -huh. And where the money takes him. Uh -huh. So I kind of like saw that coming a little. I think that's why I wasn't so... Well, I wasn't like shocked by it. I just wish it wasn't so. Uh, I heard there's supposed to be a sequel. Um, with... Was it Dead Sec, I think, running mm -hmm. it? Yeah, because they're pissed now. Or something. And more. It might not even be Chicago next time. They said something about expansive, expanding to other cities. So, I don't know. I also heard there's supposed to be possibly a DLC with, like, more main missions slash side missions where you get to control T-Bone and, like, run another story with him. Oh, that would be cool. It's kind of a short story, I think, but, like, you know, live his life a little bit. Right. And I like to see the side games, like, you know, see you play some poker and, and stuff. That'd be interesting to see. Since you didn't do a lot of the side games and things like that. Oh, yeah, I didn't do any of those. You still got a lot more missions to do, too. Yeah. I have to try those, the fixer contracts and the convoys. I haven't done any of those since the beginning. <laughs> Well, convoys are a little tricky. But now that you got more things you could blow up and yeah. steam pipes, it might be easier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but all in all, it's a pretty good game, I guess. It felt like the ending was rushed. The ending, the, bleh, 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 words. The ending did feel kind of rushed. That's why I'm like, this This is it? This, That's done? We're done here? I feel like it was moving really slowly. It took us a long time to get to find T Boone or Raymond Kenny, whatever you want to call him. Then once you find him, it's like, okay, now 
go up to this guy, you got the data, but then you got this other guy. Uh, default, you gotta get him. Kill this guy, kill that guy. Everything's kind of just jammed into that last act. It felt like... It felt too rushed. But I guess that can make sense because it was slower at the beginning. And motions got harder at the end. It seems yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I guess that makes sense, though. So... How do you uh, um? Good progression. How do you like the the whole bit with Maurice? Uh, I don't know about the Maurice thing because they start out with him like, okay, here's a you're looking for this guy. So the game starts off with him and then ends with him, but there's really nothing else about him during the middle of the game. Sure, Jordy mentions it a couple times on the phone, and you find audio logs here and there. But it's like, why is this the last decision you have to make? Like, it seems the Damien thing should have been, uh... I don't know, it kind of ties it together. I want to see what happens if you shoot him, since I haven't seen what happens at that event. But I'm sure all it does is just change the, uh, dialogue and then the same ending. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure we could YouTube it. That seems very nice. And the city is, you know, fairly recognizable. A lot of streets and the, and the L trains and stuff like that. Like, you know, like, oh, this is Wells or this is L -train, Wabash. Huh? You're definitely not Chicagoan if you said L train. It's called the L. It's called the L and that's it. Well, maybe people who watch this video aren't from Chicago and they're like, what's the L? Everybody knows the L. El what? Is it like Spanish or something? <laughs> El Trino? First time I was in the city, uh, I always thought it was spelled E-L and not just L. <laughs> and then I actually took the L and I saw that they're just an L. And what does L stand for? <laughs> <laughs> well, not all the stuff needs to be known. There's some <laughs> mysteries left in Chicago. Yeah. The L's for love. The city of brotherly love. The Big Apple. Windy City. <laughs> city by the Bay. Do you know why they're called the city's called the Windy City? City of Lights. The rumor is that it's because of the wind <laughs> from Lake Michigan, which is not true. Mm -hmm. I believe the term Windy City came about through. Um, like newspaper jokes at like politicians, you know, blowing wind, not farts, but like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, full of hot air kind um, of thing. I thought it was, and again, because this is probably what my parents told me, and sometimes when my parents tell me things, they're not exactly true, but because they're my parents, I think that they're true. Uh, they, I think they said that it's called the, Chicago's called the Windy City because, um, all the, like, I guess there's, like, an important set of meetings and everybody flew here of some kind. I kind of forgot most of that. That's not too convincing. They Google flew it. here and there was wind. No, 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 not just that. Like, they, they, that's why they called it the Windy, because everybody flew here to meet. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I should Google it now. Google? <laughs> Looks like time's up, though. It's the uh, final stages of the grid. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't it? It doesn't. Thanks to you, CTOS Network has had a successful year. With CTOS Chicago setting the standard, we are proud to announce an expansion into other major cities across the country and around the world. There's no better way to bring the city right to your doorstep. Look for CTOS 2.0 in the new year. CTOS, the future.